And in some wholesome news, an Indian American high school student was able to achieve the unthinkable, getting full marks on his SAT exams. We go live to our reporter on the ground to give us his exclusive interview. Congratulations on getting full marks on your SAT exams. I'm sure a lot of prestigious Ivy League schools will want you now. Tell me how you were able to achieve such success. I, um, don't know. Hard working and no sleep, I guess? This was apparently made to celebrate Lunar New Year, which happens to be the year of the tiger, which goes perfectly with tiger parents. They're going to be fitting in a lot. Every day I have to fight with him because he is not getting up on time. His apparently chemistry he, teacher says he's been caught falling asleep Someone in class. actually did he's get one that's a perfect doesn't score. Get the top scores, interestingly enough. But his parents falls have asleep. plenty of room for forgiveness. In, class. in the end, I see a 1600 on my SAT score, but there were plenty of failures that came before that, right? You heard that right. A poor have got a perfect score. This is going to be SAT a terrible exam. video to so show anybody's tiger parents. Now that they see that it's possible, clearly there's no reason why we all can't do it. Italy jumping in. No! Trying to stop the USA from putting ketchup on spaghetti. The power of Christ compels you as they try to get rid of this Canadian demon that made them put this pineapple on their pizza. Ah, mamma mia, at least someone is sensible looking at Singapore. Are those... Chopsticks. Snap, snap. And now they have spontaneously combusted. This culinary empire just can't take it. This stems from some data saying you're doing Italian food wrong, says all Italians. Now for the most part, Italy as a whole agrees you can eat pizza for lunch, have this type of sauce with spaghetti, eat pizza with a fork rather than your hands, or have meatballs with spaghetti. And here are all the countries around the world if they agree or not. But this is a bit more divisive among Italians. Having risotto as an appetizer or side dish, putting oil in the water you are cooking your pasta in, snap, dry spaghetti. Oh yeah, I know you're not supposed to do that. Adding plain pasta to a plate or bowl and then adding the sauce afterwards. Most countries around the world think it's totally okay to do all this stuff. But then finally, here's the best, unacceptable to the Italians. There it is, having ketchup with pasta. Wait, who the hell in their right mind thinks it's okay? Who are you? These two places think it's overwhelmingly okay. Hong Kong and Indonesia, I should have known. Here in the US and the UK agree that that's not all right. Since there's so much Italian ancestry in the USA, you would think we'd match pretty well with the OG people from Italy, but this is where we differ the most, having pasta as a side dish or having garlic bread with a pasta meal. Oh yeah, and this is the one that everyone talks about, having pineapple on pizza. The Italians don't agree, but most of the world does. What the hell? So I was thinking, it's about time I taught you peasants how to prepare a proper meal, says the United Kingdom. First, gather all ingredients and place them in boiling water. That's it. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty much how I cook too. I don't got time to do anything else. It all boils down to this. Aging population is stressing our economy, says Germany. We have to find a final solution. Oh no. Your problem is public health care. Duh. Everyone, boo. They hate me because they ain't me. Let's not beat around the bush. We need to accept more migrant workers to fill the gap. There is no alternative to it. Birth rates are too low and we need to accept more immigrants, says Canada. And we can't just build an army of robots and ignore the inevitable, right Japan? Japan. <gasps> Nani? That's exactly how they're dealing with their aging population. Can't wait to get my own robot waifu. They tried to warn us already with the domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. The British Museum. We didn't stole nothing. Well, Pop, we did it. We finally evacuated the mummy of Pharaoh t, -t, -t Yeah, truly a historic day for Egyptology. We should celebrate this occasion with some champagne. I'll go get the champagne. I'm back. Oh my goodness. Smash. Yo, Pops, I thought you were here in the room while I was away. The mummy is now missing. You don't think someone stole it? Oh, I don't know, lad. Maybe it came back to life and stuff. Oh, I hate myself for knowing this reference. So, allegedly, from what I had heard earlier this week, British nobility might have been eating mummies. Actually, it was just rich Europeans as a whole for a few hundred years. They thought it had some sort of medicinal benefits. Then again, is there much of a difference between eating a dead guy and British cuisine? <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna get some hate for that one. We have Quebec wanting to perform a little immigration test. Are you ready? Let's see, we have Lebanon, Nigeria, and Haiti. These two say we, oui. this one says yes. Bang! Congratulations, you guys have survived. You're the citizens now. Ah uh, yes, Quebec doesn't like the English speakers as much. If they say we, oui, Quebec leaves you be. If you say yes, then you can say less. <laughs>
I don't know what that was. I don't know why I felt the need to do some poetry right there. Haha, <laughs> Mongolia, you can no invade me, says Japan. I will build navy and kill you. Mongolia drags this Chinese body with a stick after completely decimating his hometown. And that is how you boat. Okay, write that down. Bonk, 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 bonk. After a few moments, ha <laughs> ha, it's me finally. Fear, mighty, ah! <laughs> Great. Failed again, says the other Mongolian invasion that also didn't go well. China only taught them how to boat, not how to control the weather. That's where they went wrong. You think that's why they're landlocked to this day? Not because they were forced into this, they just don't want to deal with the water ever again. D-Day landings. A six-month long buildup of troops and materials in preparation for the largest seaborne invasion in human history. Specialized vehicles had to be newly created for the plan. Then there was the Schlieflin plan, which involves national trains, timetables, troop mobilization estimates, and even in industry output figures. Incredible detail. Then there is Japan in this place. Food? I could be her before. Cannon to eat grass on ground. Incredible wartime logistics from all three of them. Apparently this man led an invasion with only 20 days worth of rations. This invasion ended up lasting four months. So you can tell it didn't go that well. But I guess their plan was literally to live off of the grass and ground. How to cook delicious British cuisine. It's easy. There we go, that's the proper location. I don't know who put this book in the non-fiction section. Alright, we've been really poking fun at the UK a lot today. Let's see if there is anything good over there. Bangers and mash. So, sausage and mashed potatoes? Doesn't sound too bad. Bacon sandwich? Now we're talking. That's definitely something I'd want to try. Oh no, the British variant though is leaner and meatier than the US. The full English? I literally just want to go to the UK one day to try beans in the morning. Honestly, I'll probably love all these foods though. Beef Wellington, one of the many pies and pastries to find in British cuisine. It's steak coated with, um, I don't know, mushrooms and onions. And finally there's black pudding. <gasps> no! No! I was actually trying to like do something good here. What list would include that? Well, they actually have a lot of stuff. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Some of it does look really good. Not all though. Damn, sexy is me, says Romania or Chad. You got me. Why the frick are you wearing a thong in the winter, says Hungry? Okay, I guess we can assume this is Romania. It's simple, Hungry. I want to show my Bulgaria. I want to die. You know what? Maybe Hungry should just worry about themselves. Why don't you put some clothes on? Italy says, oh, I love my greens. I love my greens too. I loving your greens, says the Netherlands, as they're higher than a kite right now. I guess this is referring how Canada has legalized the ganja. Can you really blame the Dutch trying to get high all the time? I mean, they are pretty below sea level. Hello, Malaysia. Do you want to see my new Satan building? Satay building. Okay, Indonesia, but why is building called Satay? Indonesia, why? So first of all, this is a food dish in Indonesia and Malaysia, which is basically kebab. But in the Indonesian country, there are buildings that are basically called satay buildings. They look like kebab buildings, which is a reference to the shape of the building's central pinnacle. It pretty much resembles the dish, apparently. Very cool, Indonesia. Thanks for sharing your kebab building. Hey, Jew. Don't, I don't think I can sing this. Make it bad. Because that song would make it better. It'd be more complex than that idiot. There's a turkey who's sure all that glitters is gold, and he's buying a stairway to heaven. I'm like you, EU, is be mine many gold for me. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Kind of landslide. No escape. Wait, what does this have to do with uh, the checks? It real life, stop it with dramatic. You owe me monies for using bohemian name. Bolin asks, why are you obsessed with music of rock? I've always loved rocks, old chap. And just behind them are a bunch of islands they formerly controlled like Jamaica and Sri Lanka. They love rock so much that they had to cause a little bit of border gore in Spain. Poland sad and hungry. Oh no, not the Turkish ice cream guy. Poland buy one ice cream, please. Okay, here we go. Whoosh. Okay, now here we go. Whoosh. Give ice cream now or Poland 1683 Vienna you again. No more Euro monies for Poland this year then. As the EU reads this newspaper, still sad and hungry, Poland detained for threatening Turkey. Was just selling ice cream. Yeah, Switzerland's probably best to stay out of this. So much about food today. No, someone else is going to be tricked by the Turkish ice cream man doing all these random moves. Oh no, you made him cry. We need time. Whoa. Dang, that actually looks really good. I'm just looking at a cartoon too.
Wait a second. Wait, is that nut milk? Wait, I'm trying to figure this out on my own. Looking at South Korea. Oh, is this a joke about a lot of Koreans being lactose intolerant? And this was a city in South Korea that they gave this ice cream to. I, I guess that's why Turkey had no idea. I love those comics without any dialogue, but you can still kind of figure out what goes on. I say, my good chum, this shit bangs. Yeah, mine bangs too. Yum, yum. Ew, Frank Reich. He has manners. Silly Germany. I have manners, but this is just too delicious. It's difficult to believe, but this is pretty good, says Hungry. What's this called again? Asks Slovakia. Odd name. I think. I think they call them kebabs. Boo, 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 Beep, 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 beep. Shh. <sighs> All according to plan. Oh my god, the kebab vendors. Turkey's using it to bring back some sort of Ottoman Turkish empire. It makes so much sense now. That must be what Mexico's trying to do with all the Taco Bells they have everywhere. <laughs> the bucket size is just the right size for me. Big gulp. USA with the forklift and the pizza. Please carry the pizza carefully. Stupid son, eating does more than just satisfy your appetite. Communication with people is also important. Your diet is- What? I have glorious tea party at Boston Harbor then, a-hole dad. Yeah, let's see how civilized you become once we do all that. We'll see how communication is key then. Love that the USA still acts like a teenager around their dad. And big thanks to this month's supporters. Luxembourg lover. Alfonso M6. Aries, after Drew's hours. Argentinian grandpa. Bonsky W. Bring back Poland Ball. McBlur. I stole Drew's pet I dog. Love Marks, Majestic Unicorn. Max Cooper. Rye the Pie. Why am I doing this? Drew's Arab Sugar Crump, Daddy. Crump Populous. Mimo Michael. Louise. Canadian Union. Adam Stillerman. Alex Whitley is Mega Chad. Norwell. Philip R.F. Robert E. Orton 5610. And Sussy Mulyadi.